Hello everyone, welcome to Fox Tech again. This time we talk about the Mac. You can see we have it right in front of us and the topic is Google Chrome. You can see it's also being fired up. So we have it everything running right on the Mac. The topic is specifically to block pop-ups on Google Chrome on your Mac. Now, of course, it doesn't matter if you have the MacBook Air or the Pro, if you have the desktop iMac or anything, as long as it runs Mac OS, you're gonna be able to do the things that I show you. Basically, how you can re or like block pop-ups it depends, because there are two options. I would say the first one is using the native settings of the uh, Google Chrome. So if you want to get inside the uh, Chrome settings, you don't go to the system settings which you have on the Mac. You have to go to the actual Chrome settings, and this can be accessed in two different ways. You can either click on Google Chrome right there and tap on the settings. So you can see the settings are right there. There's also a shortcut, which is the command and the the dot or whatever that is. Or you can click on the dots here next to your name the button is here and also click on the settings so you basically get inside the settings you can see all the stuff like you and google like syncing all the things that apply to you but i want you to click on privacy and security here are some things which you should be interested in safety check you can check your mag now for potentially bad extensions and other stuff but as you can see the other things are here as well. So guys, I want you to use your devices the best possible way. And that's why I created this free education platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access, link is down below. But at the bottom of the page, completely there, there's site settings. Site settings says that it controls what information sites can use and show, of course, that includes location, camera, pop-ups, and more. The keyword is pop-ups there, so we're gonna click on that. You can see which apps have been recently blocked notifications. So these apps have been uh, blocked. You can see permissions for location, so you can change that, but completely at the bottom, we have pop-ups and redirects. So if you click on that, you get to the pop-ups section. So you can choose that you don't allow sites to set pop-ups or you use redirects. So when you click on that, the option, the second one, when you select it, it's gonna make sure that no pop-ups are gonna be shown to you in the, the future, which is good. You can also and just set it specifically for other sites because you can, for example, customize the behavior. So you can choose not allowed to send pop-ups or use redirects when allowed to send pop-ups and use redirects. So you can choose a specific website which can give you pop-ups and you can choose a specific device which you want to forbid from showing you pop-up messages. So it's up to you if you want to cho choose or like close it entirely for every website or just choose specific ones. But these are the official settings from the Google Chrome. Besides that, you can also check out the extensions. So if you just look up Chrome Web Store, you fire it up into Google, you get to this section where you can download themes and extensions. So if you just search in here, pop-ups, you can see there are many different ways how you can uh, uh, block uh, pop-ups. You can just uh, look up pop-ups and a pop-up blocker for Chrome. This is for going to uh, uh, like some sketchy websites and we show you like different pop-ups and things. If you don't want that, you can install that Google Chrome extension, just add it to Chrome. And that way you're gonna be able to uh, block unwanted pop-ups and just like block it on the, the entire thing or like on the level of Google Chrome entirely. So this is the second way. You don't even have to mess with the settings of the Google Chrome if you don't want to. You can just install the extension and it's gonna do the same job, perhaps even better. Depends, you have to test it out for yourself, but you can see that it has like many different ratings. You can see two million plus users. So I believe that this app is probably working well. So yeah, just try it out, it's free. So yeah, that's gonna be basically the wrap up for this video. I don't wanna drag it out any longer than it needs to be. So thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot, see you guys later.